It's the second week since the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar resumed campaigns for the year. But Atiku's campaign had been greeted by calls for his arrest by one of the spokespersons of the APC, Festus Kayamo. In today's press briefing, the PDP dismisses the claims and says it will not be joining issues as the allegations are subjudice. If you must ask for equity, you must come with clean hands. Uh, Mr. Festus Kiyamo, who happens to be in the APC government, is using the privilege of being in government and also using his own chambers, which would be a conflict of interest, to terrorize a candidate they are, they are afraid of. He, while serving as a cabinet member and campaign spokesman, remember as a cabinet member is being paid by the taxpayer's money, is using the official privilege and the powers conferred on that office to intimidate agencies of government, including going to court and filing a case against the agent of the same branch of government to which he belongs. And this is happening at a time when the president told the world that he's going to deliver a legacy of free and fair election. So now it's raising concern. People are beginning to wonder whether it is the president who is, by proxy, using this cabinet member to infiltrate or influence or intimidate the agency of government. In today's press briefing, put together by Dele Momodu, Director of Strategic Communications of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council, Atiku spokespersons are calling for the arrest and probe of the APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunubu on allegations of drug-related offences. Dalmadi Umar, if you remember vividly, the chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal admitted on March 24, 2016, in the case between the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Bukola Saraki, that he discharged Tinubu in error. On the discharge of the former Lagos State Governor, I quote, by the tribunal some years ago, simply because the Code of Conduct Bureau failed to fulfill the condition of precedent, we have since realized we acted in error in discharging Mr. Tinubu on that ground, and we have since departed from that error, Umar said. It is therefore important for both the Code of Conduct Bureau and the EFCC to revisit the case, since Tinubu is still alive and he was never acquitted. He was only discharged. Apart from the links to drug laws, Tinubu has also cornered the finances of Lagos State through several means, including land grabbing. With the presidential elections barely 33 days away, the PDP says it is setting of victory. Mary Chinda, Arise News.